let's take a look at coordinate graphs as maps. Sydney walked from the orange to the ant and then from the ant to the whistle. How far did Sydney walk in all? Okay, and they gave us a key, but this key is pretty easy to read because everything's exactly what it looks like. The orange, the ant, the whistle, the flower, and the battery. Okay, well, she went from the orange to the ant. Okay, so from here to here. And then from the ant to the whistle. Okay, so then from there, she went straight up to the whistle. Now, since these shapes, right, the orange, the ant, the whistle, are drawn on a graph or a grid, I can use, notice each box is one unit, right? One, two, three, four, five. So I can simply count how many boxes she walked to figure out how many units she walked. Okay, so from here, right, this is her starting point. One, two, three, four over, and then up. So that would be five, six, seven, eight. So she traveled a total distance of eight units. Mason walked from the action figure to the train and then from the train to the grape. How far did Mason walk in all? Okay, well he started out at the action figure and went to the train. Okay, so that's from here to here. And then from the train to the grape. So then he went over. So again, we can count. So he started at the action figure. So he walked down one, two, three, four. And then from there, he went across another one, two, three. Now you could count them this together. You could say all together he went down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Down four and over three. Or you can say, okay, he walked four down and three over, so four plus three, all together he walked seven units. What is at one, one? Okay, well this time they gave us a point or an ordered pair. So when you have a point or ordered pair, the first number we call the x value, and the second number we call the y value. Okay, the x value tells us how far to go left or right because we call the left-right axis the x-axis. Since it's positive, it's telling us to go that far to the right. And then the second number, or the y value, tells us how far to go up or down because we call the up and down axis our y axis. Since it's positive, it tells us how much to go up. So this point, one, one, is telling us to go one to the right, and then from there, go one up. And you always start counting from this point here at zero, zero, right where the x and y axis cross. So from here, I'm gonna go one to the right, one up. Notice I land right on the cell phone. What is that? five, zero. Okay, well remember we said the first number or the x value tells you how far to go right or left. Since it's positive, we're gonna go to the right. And the second number or the y value tells you how far to go up or down. Since it's positive, we're gonna go that many up. So five, zero tells us to go five to the right and zero up or down. And we always start counting from here where the x and y axis cross. So from here, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five to the right, and then zero up or down. So I land right on the compact disc. Where is the die? Okay, well the die, you probably hear this set as dice. Dice actually means more than one. So if we had two, we would call them dice. When you have one, you call it a die. All right, so our die, looks like it's right here, right? That would be the center of our die. So we can count and say, well, from here, how would I count to get there? I would have to go to the right, one, two, three, four, five. Now remember, how far you go to the right is the first number or the x value. And then from there, I would have to go up one. And that's always the second value, how many you go up. 
So the die is at the point 5, 1. Where is the record? Okay, well the record is right here. So let's think about how we would count. Now remember, you always start counting from 0, 0, or right where the x and y axis cross. So from here, I would have to go 1 to the right, okay, so that means my first number is 1, and then I'm already there. I don't have to go up or down at all. So that would be 0 up or down. So the record is at the point 1, 0. Where is the car? Okay, well my car is here, so let's count. And remember, we always start counting from where the x and y axis cross, or from 0, 0. So to get to the car, I would have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the right. Okay, remember that first number is always how far you went to the right or left. So 5 to the right. And then from there, I'm already at the car. I don't have to go up or down at all. So that would be 0 up. So that would be the point five zero. Where is the bowl? Okay, well the bowl is right here. So let's count and figure out how we would get there. So from zero, zero, I would have to go one, two, three to the right. Okay, so that means my x value is three. Now I'm directly underneath the bowl. And then I would have to go up one, two, three. So it's at the point 3, 3, meaning from 0, I would go 3 to the right and up 3. Where is the cell phone? Okay, well the cell phone is right here, so I start counting right there, so I would go 1 to the right, okay, so my x value is 1, and then notice once I went 1 to the right, I'm already on my cell phone. So I don't need to go up or down at all. That would be zero up. Where is the compact disc? Okay, well my compact disc is right here. So to get there, I would have to go one, two to the right. Remember the number of how far you're going right or left always comes first. And then from there, I would have to go up one, two. So two up means my second number is also a two.